Good afternoon. My name is Richard Williams and I happen to be a representative of Water Options, also Chanson Water. But what I'm here today to, to talk to you about is our G2 faucet that Chanson manufactures. It's very simple to install. It cleans up the countertops. And Agic dealers who have an SD501 find that it's very awkward with, with the big cumbersome hoses which they have to be on the countertops and for the for the woman of the house to actually work in the in the kitchen. As you can see this is their acid water hose which is the gray one and this is the alkaline water inlet. This is the inlet going in, into that. What I'm going to show you how to do is to actually install those so that you can clean up your countertops and make it more accessible for use within the kitchen. As you can see, here is the G2 faucet. Basically, it has a compression compression nut, which the 3 8 hose goes on. I will demonstrate that right now. The, th the 3 8 hose that we use goes on, goes on here like this, with this compression valve going on and tightening up. This, in turn, goes down to our H3 filter which is underneath the counter. As you can see here it's installed on the sink and this is the acid, acid spout coming out. But the water, the water will actually uh, come from this, this one once, once I've put it together. I've, I've inserted the, the uh, 3 8 hose within the uh, half inch hose that the Enagic comes with and put it here. This attaches to the bottom outlet this forces the water up in here, alkaline water comes out here, acid water comes out here. Now I will also do the same thing so that I can have the acid water return here or you can still use the acid holder which can actually put your acid water and drain it into the sink. Just like that suction cup. So this way you can actually take care of the problem. Now what I, what I like to do and what, what, what I've done the most is when I've installed these is I've taken and shortened the hose so that I don't have all this hose all over the countertop. But it's just very simple to do and basically what you do is you'll cut it. I'm going to show you the tools that you need. Basically what you're going to need is a pair of uh, needle nose pliers, a regular pair of pliers, a very sharp knife, and I use a little bit of sealant when I'm doing this. What I will do is I will make a very sharp cut, cutting it to the length that I need, without cutting my fingers off. And I want to make sure that I get a good square cut. Normally, I have a razor blade cutter that seems to work a little bit better for this, for this purpose. The second thing that I do is I will sp spread this by pushing and forcing it open so that I can insert my 3 8 hose inside. Now, I do that just by taking my needle nose pliers and just stretching it. This seems to be the hardest part for most people, is getting that and then, then actually forcing the uh, 3 8 hose up inside. Basically I force the 3 8 hose up inside here. I will generally use some of the quick seal sealant to go around here to prevent any, any water pressure or, or leakage from coming out. It's very easy to take apart because this, this silicone it, uh, comes out, but it does prevent any leaking from taking place. From there, I can actually force this on to the inlet or the outlet, taking the water into the ionizer. I can do the same thing by cutting this, putting this other hose inside of that, and in fact, let me do that. Let me do that with one little piece here. So that you can see that it's very easy to do. We may want to do this. And 
and where this acts only as a drain, this hose just fits on there, comes out the uh, comes out the hose out the uh, uh, ionizing machine, the SD501, and puts the water here into the sink or into the container that you choose to collect the acid water from. So it's actually a very simple process. As you can see, it fits. It, the acid fits here on the top. And the outlet is right here taking it in. I usually leave this on here because as I do that, it will put compression to keep it from being blown apart because that's the only place where there is actually any water pressure that you have to deal with. But in doing that, it really cleans up the countertop. I usually will have it about six to eight inches here, and I like to leave the acid hose longer in case I want to fill up buckets or containers, whatever. Anyway, that's how you install the uh, uh, SD501 to the G2 faucet. For more information, please visit www.chansonwater.com.